very difficult to see uh, Julian here and to make our way through the, the prison to get to him was quite um, shocking and difficult. Um, he does not deserve to be in a supermax prison. He has never committed a violent act. He's an innocent person. Um, it's, uh, he has an access to a library, a uh, computer, um, any information. He's really cut off from everybody. He hasn't been able to speak to his children. And you know, public support is very important. Uh, fundraising is very important. He needs all the support he can get. You know, justice uh, will depend on public support. And he's a good man. He's an incredible person. You know, I, I, I love him. I, I, I can't imagine uh, what he's been going through. And to see him was, was uh, good to see him. It was great to see him. But he's, um, this is just misrule of law and operation. It is absolute. Uh, shock that he has not been able to get out of his cell. It's been one month. It's going to be a long fight. And he's he's uh, deserves our support. He needs our support. So um, whatever anybody can do to um, maybe write to him, encourage him. He's appreciative of any support that he's received. I think he's he hasn't received any uh, too much yet in the way of uh, letters, but I know mm -hmm. people have been writing. It's a, it's a process for him to to have any kind of communication. It's very difficult, and uh, anyway, we just have to keep fighting because it's unfair. He's a he's he's sacrificed so much to bring the truth out, and we deserve the truth. And that's all I can say. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling I feel sick. <laughs> I feel. Um, nauseous. We need to save his life. That's how serious it is. It is a question of life and death. That's, that's how serious it is.